What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phase 6, your source for music, business, motivation, and support. It's your boy, Sir Love, and welcome back to Phase 6. Let's get to it. Let's do it. So I was talking to an artist, and they asked me, what am I supposed to be doing? And I looked at them, and I'm like, what do you mean, what are you supposed to be doing? And they said, you know, when I wake up in the morning, what am I supposed to do? And I said, you love this, right? And they said, yeah. And I said, you, you want to be successful in this, right? They said, yeah. We talked about their why and why that's important. And then I said, well, what do you think you should be doing? What I see that a lot of artists are doing in this game right now is everybody's watching the next person, trying to follow the next person's way to success, and that doesn't work. If you pay attention to the people that have become successful, what you see is highs or peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, right? You know, you see someone that comes up, discover something new. Oh, we should do dances. And then a bunch of people copy, you hit a valley, everyone else that tries, it fails. You hit a peak. Oh man, Instagram is the wave. Everyone's trying to do the same thing that person did on Instagram and falls off. You know, whatever the new wave is, everyone's trying to figure out the next sauce, the next wave, the next drip, the next whatever to make themselves competitive in the game. But the real truth is at the end of the day, it's really about you. It's about your work ethic. It's about what you're putting into this because whatever it is that makes you great, it's about how you do it that's gonna make you great. If it's the swag, if it's the verse, if it's the lifestyle, if it's the story, if it's whatever, people pop off for different reasons. Is it the dance? Is it the fact you got the hood behind you? Is it the fact you got the internet behind you? Whatever it is, you're just an entertaining motherfucker. People wanna follow you and watch you. Whatever it is, everybody got their own sauce. So it's not about copying the next person. It's about really magnifying who you are as an artist. In order to do that, you guys gotta put in work. See, once you figure out who you are and what you wanna magnify, instead of saying, oh, I'm magnifying this right here and it's not working, I want you to stop doing that and start saying, okay, I'm magnifying this. How do I maxify what I'm already magnifying? See, when you magnify something, it means you've identified something very small that makes you unique and you're blasting it out on a higher level. Like this about me, like there's a lot of things that can make you special, but this one thing right here is really, really, really special. I'm gonna magnify it, blow it up, build a brand around it. Now everyone goes, that's cool, right? That's the first stage. You're trying to figure out what makes you cool, what makes you different, what makes people wanna rock with you. And it's a whole bunch of things that 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 could come from, right? It could, like I said before, your story, your message, your brand, your music, your style, your beats, your whatever it is, it could be anything, but whatever it is, you magnify it and now you have a whole EP designed around that thing that made you dope. And now you're sitting here looking at other artists, now that you've realized you're dope, you're starting to say, well, what are they doing? I'm dope, but I'm not getting the same press so-and-so's getting, I'm not getting as many followers as so-and-so, and you guys gotta stay in your lane. H-O-V, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. And what you need to do is instead of trying to mimic everybody else, you need to be trying to mag you need to be trying to scale what you already have. Make it bigger. How do you do that through work? See, that's what artists don't want to do. Artists don't like to work. In my opinion, I think most artists are lazy. See, the artists that are successful are the ones that are hustlers. And most hustlers don't care about the art that much. Just being 100. They just do it for whatever reason that motivates them to do it. People that are really about the art are lazy about everything else. That's the conundrum. That's why hustlers make it over artists because hustlers are about this work. Right? At the end of the day, how are you working? Are you ready to go to the clubs every day and have the DJs playing your record? You're the artist. Why are you sitting around waiting for somebody else to go to the club and have the DJ playing your record? You need to be in a club, getting cool with every DJ in the clubs that matter to your market. Not just the most popping club in the city. Don't follow this person or that person. Who is your audience? Where do they party? Go to where they party, your audience, because that, oh, that's all that matters is your shit, your audience, your focus, where are they? Be there all the time. Your audience should know you. If you're a gangster dude, if you're a hood rapper, cats on the block should know who you are. You should be able to walk on the block and be like, oh, they should know who you are. You should have a pass through most hoods, right? If you're an internet person, anytime you post something, mad people should know who you are. If you're LGBTQ, then anytime you go to those type of parties, people should go, oh shit, there you go I see you hey whatever the fuck it is you need whatever community you're in you need to be impactful in your community because when you go to a venue 
right? When you go to a venue and you do a party, this is how it works. It's, the, it's like a follower mechanism, right? When you're gonna have people that are trendy that just jump on waves. So there's a group of people that really rock with you and there's a wave. If you have 10 people in a party full of 100 people and those 10 people are going stupid, you're gonna have 50 people going stupid in a minute. Why? Those 10 people fuck with you. Why? Because those 10 people are a part of that core audience that you really rock with. You need to identify with your core audience and get your core audience to go wherever you go. Your core audience will influence other people to follow you the same way that they do. They will look at the people that are on the outside looking in will go, oh man, how the song go? Everyone else is doing a dance. I'm going to do the dance. How the chant go? I'm going to do the same chant. What are the words? Because they're going to feel out of the loop and it makes them want to be a part of the loop because you brought the loop to the party right? Because you're influencing your audience. Whatever your audience is, you have to be putting in work. So the DJ should be playing your record. You should be shaking hands and kissing babies. Anytime you go to your core audience, you need to be shaking hands, getting to know people, talking to them in, 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 in after a show, whatever it is, reaching out, DMing, whatever it is, you need to have tangible relationships with your core audience. You have to be putting in work. You have to be waking up in the morning. You got to be going to the gym. You have to be exercising, keeping your abs right, keeping your body right. You to be putting in work. You got to mess around and make sure that you eating right, that you drinking water and you're doing everything you should do to keep your skin together because don't no one want to see no pictures of you on Instagram with craters all on your face unless you're 14 years old and you got to hit single about puberty. You need to be putting in work. That's the way that this game works. You got to put in work. When you go to an event, you should be networking and talking. Your manager can talk for you. The promoter can talk for you. Your producer can talk for you. But guess what? Guess who everyone wants to talk to? You. Why? Because you're the artist. You're the focal point. You're the person everyone's here to see. So therefore, who has to put in work? You. You need to be putting in work. That's the way the game works. This game revolves around work. Nine times out of ten, you are doing the things that you need to do in whatever space you love. If you're a person that loves social media, you're probably putting in work. If you're a person that loves making songs, you probably got songs for days. You're putting in work. If you're a person that loves promoting, you've probably been promoting the fuck out of the same record forever. You've been putting in work. The same thing I can say for shows, for whatever. The question is, what the hell are you not doing? Whatever area you're strong in, most likely it's your natural nature to stay strong in that area. You're going to continue being successful in that area because that's what you love to do. If you're a person that loves making songs, you're going to make songs regardless. However, you may be weak in social media, you may be weak in public performances, you may be weak in shows, you may be weak, and if you're an artist, your work is where you're not successful. Your work is you spending the time to do the things that you're not great at. Spend more time doing the things that you're not great at versus the things that you are great at. You'll start fixing those weak links and you'll start realizing that your chain is pulling bigger loads. And those bigger loads result in bigger paydays, bigger opportunities, bigger success because your chain ain't breaking every time you try to pull in the next opportunity. Right? Right now your chain consists of what you're great at, but you need to fix it and make sure your chain is more well-rounded, right? Right now in your career, I want you to stop, analyze your career, start thinking about the things that you're great at and write down the things that you're not so great at and spend the next six months focusing on nothing but the things you're not so great at and I promise you your success will start to catch up to the things that you've already been doing. A lot of y'all complaining for no reason. You the dopest freestyler on the block, but you ain't got no fucking records recorded. What's the point? You guys need to beam in, put in work, and focus. A lot of you guys out here don't want to work, like for real, for real. Like, you don't even want a job. You just, I do music. That's what I do. Meanwhile, every time you ask somebody for something, they're telling you, yo, it's going to cost 100 It's going to cost 50 It's going to cost this. You wonder why you can't promote your career? Because you ain't got no money. Why? Because you won't put in work. Artists don't like to work. And I'm talking to artists right now. Every artist that's watching this video, I'm motivating you right now to tell you that you need to start putting in the work. If you put in the work that you don't want to put in, you will be more successful. Period. That's how it goes. That's how it goes for everybody. Coca-Cola doesn't stay relevant unless they do new shit that they're not accustomed to doing. Do you think Coca-Cola was always on the cool fly shit? No. But they got on it because they had to put in work. Social media is the craze now. Anyone follow Wendy's on Twitter? Wendy's going in. Wendy's got a, got a diss record on Spotify going at Burger King. Shit crazy. Why? Wendy's is staying relevant. But if Wendy's doesn't stay relevant, Wendy's disappears. Fortune 500 companies disappear every day. Toys R Us is gone. Blockbuster is gone. 
10 years from now, the companies you fuck with hard, some of them are gonna be gone because they didn't wanna put in work in the new areas. They wanted to stay doing what they think they're great at. But times evolve, things change. And you have to master the things that you're not great at. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little and a little bit about a lot. Trying to give you guys everything that I got. Like, subscribe, follow the channel. I'm bringing you guys new hot shit. Follow the channel. Let's do this. Raw, uncut, sir love, motivation, chasing greatness. Let's get it.